today's video, we're gonna show you how much progress can be made on a new Town Hall 12 base after 60 days and fill you in on how I kept myself entertained during the lengthy upgrade times. What's going on, my friends? My name is Joe, welcome back to the show. And today would be episode four of the Town Hall 12 free to play series in 2023, day 55 since upgrading to this level. So we're about at the 60 day mark. Now, what's really interesting about playing Town Hall 12 is that there are a lot of different players that play this level. Not everybody grinds Clash of Clans. So sure, some of you might be super hardcore with multiple mini accounts and you know how to keep yourself going with friendly challenges and doing builder base and doing raid weekend, etc. But there are some players where they have commented saying that they've quit playing this level because they got bored with the long upgrade times, which is totally understandable. Now, one of the things that I don't tell you guys when it comes to playing Clash of Clans is that you really have to learn how to become a master of boredom. And what I mean by that is that in order to keep these upgrades going, to keep myself going to the max that I can for each level, I have to keep doing the same things on repeat, like farming all the time, trying to do some trophy pushing to keep myself entertained. And you can avoid all this if you buy the gold pass. So it's really a trade-off. Either you remain free to play and deal with the boredom, or you buy the gold pass to speed up the progress in the game. Does that make sense? So let's go ahead and jump into our progress base. As a matter of fact, this is our base at day 55. I'll make sure that the base is linked down in the description below for you because people have been asking for it. Now, one of the things that you're gonna notice about my progress base is that we've just now started doing defensive upgrades at day 60. And what's really interesting about this is that I've told players in the past in the original upgrade priority guide is that I always start with offense first because it takes the longest and the heroes suck. You know how it goes. But some players just can't avoid jumping ahead and doing those defenses as if it's going to make a difference in their war attacks. Sure, your base might be able to defend a little bit better, but you still need the offensive capabilities in order to three-star a base. Does that make sense? So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've done thus far. Laboratories maxed out, clan castles maxed out. You'll see that there are three builders on the heroes, which just sucks, but we're doing it. The elixir storages, gold storages, dark elixir storage, they're finished. Army camps, barracks, dark barracks, and the siege machine workshop are all maxed out. So technically our offense is pretty much maxed out minus those heroes. So let's take a look at their levels. At day 55, or almost 60 days in, we got the Archer Queen at level 59 going to level 60. The Barbarian King is level 58 going to level 59. He'll be done in 11 hours, which is good. And then the Grand Warden is level 29 going to level 30. So two months in, we are almost maxed out, meaning we have five more levels to go on the King and the Queen and 10 levels levels on the Warden. The Warden's a little bit easier because it's an elixir upgrade and we don't have to grind dark elixir to get that done. But we're gonna stick with it and they should be maxed out next month give or take a couple weeks. And then we also started working our way into defensive upgrades. The town hall has been leveled up four times already. It'll be finishing in 16 hours for its maximum level or stage five, which is the Giga Bomb and the Giga Tesla, which makes it super powerful. The Eagle Artillery has one more day left until it's maxed out. And we've also started working our way into our Inferno Towers. So from here on out, when it comes to upgrades, if you're a little lost on what's happening here with this puzzle of buildings, we have two more Inferno Towers that need to go up. Then we're going to go into the Expos. We're going to knock out these little traps because they take like next to no time. Then Wizard Towers, Air Defenses, hidden Teslas, then the Archer Towers, Cannons, Bomb Towers, Mortars, right? And we might not even finish off the Cannons, Mortars, and Bomb Towers because we might be forced to go to Town Hall 13 because of the Elixir Waste that happens later on. It's always one of those things that happens when it comes to our laboratory. Also, when it comes to our walls, if you're kind of wondering about how many wall pieces have been upgraded, we've done 135 pieces of level 13 wall, and that's just because we were doing offensive upgrades 
upgrades and dumping all of our gold into walls that we'll be able to finish those up in no time. They're actually relatively easy if you stick with the farming to do those hero upgrades. Now, when we jump into this laboratory, things have been kind of interesting when it comes to the laboratory, because if you remember from the last video, we had a really long time until it was maxed. I think it was like nine months or something. So I went ahead and started upgrading some troops for really important armies. We knocked out Barbarian, Archer. We did max out our Balloon, Wizard, Healer, Dragon. We also did the Baby Dragon, Miner, Electro Dragon. And then we still have to upgrade things like the Giant, the Wall Breaker, and the Yeti, which won't take much longer, especially considering how we've been doing it. I'll share a tip on that here in a moment. When it comes to spells, we did max out the Lightning Spell, Rage, Freeze Spell, and the Invisibility Spell. So one of the things that you're gonna pick up is that all of this stuff was elixir upgrades because the dark elixir is being offset and dumped into heroes. I'm not grinding out Dark Elixir like that, it just sucks. And then we also did use a Hammer of Fighting to upgrade our Hog Rider one level. And we do have another Hammer available to do another level. That way we can start working our way into the Minor Hog Rider Hybrid Attack, which is actually one of the stronger armies at Town Hall 12. But if you're wondering how we were able to power through so many troops so fast, you gotta keep in mind that we do get free stuff in the Trader, so I'm gonna go ahead and claim that. This does reset every two Tuesday, so make sure you check your trader or remember to do so. And then we've also been doing raid weekends. So we claim our raid medals in order to purchase the research potions. So I buy these three research potions every week. So we're gonna go ahead and speed up this goblin upgrade. So we're gonna spend off three of these research potions. That way in 11 hours, I can spend some more resources and do another upgrade. And then I'll use the remaining research potions. Now, after so much progress being made after after 60 days on this account, that might lead some of you to believe that I've been farming with Sneaky Goblins for the last two months, and that is definitely not the case. However, I have been using Sneaky Goblins for like the last couple of days because I needed to put the Archer Queen back down for upgrade, and this army just gets the Dark Elixir fast. Some of these are wins, some of these are losses because I'm trying to drop back down in trophies. However, you will notice that we are currently in the 4,000 trophy range in Titans 3. So, Another way that I kept myself entertained was last month, Clash Champs was hosting a Town Hall 12 trophy race event, and I decided to go ahead and push without any heroes at all, and we did reach 5,014 trophies before I realized that I had an Archer Queen upgrade that I needed to do. By the way, in order to put the Barbarian King back down for upgrade, I did claim most of the resources from the practice mode. This is why I tend to save the practice mode resources. That way if I choose to trophy push, I can just get the easy resources from here to facilitate those upgrades. So in the last two months, we've only used three different armies. Sneaky Goblins in order to farm, then we also used a Blizzard Electro Dragon army for Clan War Leagues to get us started, and then last Clan War Leagues, and for the trophy push, I used the Blizzard Super Barbarian attack, and all three of those armies achieved what I I wanted to achieve, but know that these armies are not three-star strategies. They are not the hybrid, they're not the Lalo. Those armies will come up after we get our heroes done. And that's where the boredom really comes into play for some of you guys, because you're watching videos on YouTube and you want to use that stuff now. And that's one of the downsides of playing free to play. Now, if you were wondering how much time is left until we are fully maxed at Town Hall 12, we jumped over to the Clash Ninja website. Now this website is linked down in the description below. You can use it to track your bases and your base progress. It is perfectly safe to use. I've been using it for like three years and I've had no issues with it compromising my Clash of Clans account, okay? All right, so when we take a look at this completion status, you'll see that we're at day 55. Structures are 71%, which is all of the defensive buildings and offensive buildings. Laboratory, 67%. Heroes are at 76% and the walls are at 72.4%. So we've kind of kept it very balanced when it comes to our upgrades, minus a little bit on our laboratory. And if we used more 
four hammers of fighting often, that number would be a little bit higher. But let's go ahead and jump into our stats and see how much time is required to fully max out this base. So when we look at this section right here, it looks like when it comes to our structures, we're gonna need another three months, 12 days, and 12 hours. Oh my gosh, in 2023, it still takes three months to max out of 12 defensively and building wise. Laboratory is six months, one day and 23 hours. So we definitely need to start using more hammers of fighting to get that thing complete. And then heroes, we got like four more months according to this. Oh my gosh, that's gotta be mostly the warden, huh? So in order to uh, move on to Town Hall 13, I'm thinking we're gonna need another four-ish months if we include the use of the magic items and completion of clan games and the use of raid medals, etc. But if you are playing free to play, stick with me and we'll get it maxed out.